Gold also having a little good run, surging higher for a second straight day. It closed at 1529 bucks. A lot of uncertainty over European debt and U.S. debt and whether Greece is coming to America. By the way, just for the record, the dollar index was also up today. So here now to help make sense of all this, we have Mark Skousen. He's the editor of Forecasts and Strategies and founder of Freedom Fest, which begins next week in Las Vegas. I spoke at it a couple years ago. David Goldman is back, former head of fixed income research at Bank of America. And Richard Whittle, CEO of Mexican gold exploration company New Strike Capital. Welcome, Richard. Mark Skousen, it's been too long. How do you see the world? What are you buying? What's your investment strategy? Well, actually, I'm very much into high income investing, uh, and I think that we are in a gr uh, the Great Recession is still with us. It's entering a great stagnation, if mm -hmm. you will, to quote uh, Tyler Cowen's new book. Um, and uh, I'm kind of like Keynes. I hate to compare myself oh my to Keynes. God. You, you're a free market guy. <laughs> I am what a free market Keynes guy. Stuff? But in terms of investing, yeah. what did he make his money in in the 30s? You high yielding dividends mm -hmm. is how he made money. And in gold stocks, believe it or not, gold. gold. Stocks. gold well, stocks. not so oh, much we like gold, gold stocks as gold. I think that would be the way to go. All right, but, Richards, I heard you out there. You run yeah, a gold just, mining company. There's a lot of talk that gold mining stocks have better value than gold itself what's your well it's got a ways to go larry i think that gold uh, the market loves gold when the when the market the economy is uncertain it's clearly uncertain now i don't buy into the recovery yet and i think gold is a great place to be how much does it cost you to produce an ounce of gold well in mexico about 425 dollars we're not a producer though we're an exploring exploration company but we've made the largest gold discovery in Mexico, and it's unhedged in the ground. So it's a, it, it's a great place to be. Would you advise people generally, your own company and others, to buy the gold mining stocks? Do you think they have better value today than the price, of, let's say the spot price of an ounce of gold in the open market? Yes, in short, absolutely. I think they're on, they're on sale at the moment. Bullions outperformed the equities. But I, no question, I think some of the senior producers I would buy, and I would look. I would I would look at the quality junior exploration companies. Dave well. Goldman, I want to ask your take on gold. You've heard uh, Mark Skousen, you've heard Richard Whittall talk about gold. Now, look, there's always uncertainty. I mean, life is about uncertainty, and we have Greece, and we have Portugal, and we have Washington D.C. So, what else is new? Does gold have value? Are you buying gold or what? I have kept my gold at about 7-8% uh, of portfolio, so I've been actually selling off as the price has gone up. It's an insurance policy. It's not an investment. Like your insurance, it probably won't pay off. You don't want it to pay off, but you need some in case everything goes haywire. But I don't think it will, Larry, because this Greece situation... Wait, wait, you don't think everything will go will haywire, go haywire. Or gold will go up? I don't think gold will go up that much uh -huh. because this is not in 2008. It's not another Lehman Brothers. Back in 2008, nobody knew what the liabilities were. I guarantee you Richard Fulton Lima didn't know what his people owed and the top chairman of the banks didn't know what the liabilities had uh, what what no, under the rock. We're not going to have another financial. No, absolutely down. not. This is a negotiation about who's going to take the pain. Is it going to be the Greeks, the banks, the German taxpayers, the Republicans, the Democrats, exactly. the American taxpayers? So, Mark Skousen, are you yeah. going to liquidate your gold? You heard what no, David no, Goldman I think said. No, no, I think it's a game changer because what's happening is central banks are now net buyers of gold mm -hmm. because they know that the dollar is doomed. There is no other world. The dollar's currency. doing much better it ever since the Fed laid off. Now it's quantitative neutrality. Mm -hmm. Indeed. They're not printing dollars like I they agree, used to. I agree, but the all, the, looking all the central banks, including China, are buying these. Whoa. I carry this with what me at all that? times. It's a Mexican 50 peso Did gold Did Richard Whittle's company pl produce it or explore it? I don't know. It? Mexican, 1.2 ounces of gold. Beautiful coin, and I keep it on to remind me. But it is Good a game you. changer because the central banks, including China, are all buyers of gold now. And that's why gold did right. not drop well, when silver dropped. Dave Mark, Goldman, I'm what's your forecast? Yeah, I agree with Con that. Ed stock is going to outperform gold in the next ah, 10 years. with the dividend. Exactly. 5% dividends, 7% historical growth. That's going to give you total returns of, what, 150%? But you're not buying cyclical growth horizon. stocks like no, industrials absolutely and not. commodities. You, what you want while well, I'm buying DuPont and right. Terra Nitrogen, you want any large cap stock that can borrow at 4% for 7 to 10 years and has enough pricing power and market share to beat the nominal GDP growth rate. You can't go wrong. 
for gold to outperform, you'd have to have a four to five thousand dollar gold price in ten years. I just don't oh, think I, we get I, I, to that. I'm not sure I buy that. All right, yeah. I, we're going to have to continue this. A very interesting discussion. Mark Skousen, thank you. David Goldman, Richard Whittle, we appreciate it. Next up on Cudlow.